What's up, nerds? I'm Wes, Never Board Gaming, and today we're talking about who's a what's it's, who's a, who's it, who's it's, who's it's, who, who's it's, who's it's, from Game Right Games. So as the box says, who's it is a cooperative guess who game. It, not really a party game, but it's a very social game. You know, you kind of play it with having a few beers, end of the night, play it with your family. And the premise of the game is you've got all these different people out here. And so right now I've got Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, Leonardo da Vinci, Kermit the Frog, and Lady Gaga. These are all numbered. And I know which one I'm trying to get people to guess. So let's say it's Leonardo da Vinci. I know that of these, I want people to know that my person is Leonardo da Vinci. And the way that we figure that out is I have all these clues that I have, like they're like personality traits or something about them that I've got a label here, whether he definitely is that, probably is that, maybe is that, he's neutral on that, maybe not, probably not, definitely not. And so I take these clues, so like has been to the hospital. Leonardo da Vinci, he's, he's probably been to a hospital. Uh, has a lot to say on a psychologist's couch. I think he would have a ton to say, so definitely has a lot to say. Makes their bed every morning. I don't think so. I think these creative types probably, probably doesn't, maybe not, because maybe he's one of those people that like early riser makes his bed. So maybe he doesn't make his bed every day. Dresses in designer clothes. Definitely not. Not a designer clothes person. He's an inventor. He's not worried about what he's wearing. Um, knows where to place the butter knife when setting the table. I'm going to go ahead and say definitely not again, that I don't think he cares about manners. Is a good neighbor. I'm going to say probably not because all the loud clanking and stuff going on. Um, has a good poker face. Neutral. I have no idea how his poker face is. Could easily assemble Ikea furniture. Definitely. The things that man made, he could definitely assemble Ikea furniture. Now, everything I just said takes place in my head. I do not say anything out loud when I'm giving clues. I just lay these clues out on this chart. And then everyone at the table is going to start discussing, like, uh, Kermit the Frog, he's a great neighbor. So it's definitely not him. Uh, Lady Gaga, she could fit into a lot. Do you think she could make Ikea furniture? I don't know. Maybe it's Lady Gaga. Marilyn Monroe, she definitely dresses in designer clothes. So does Madonna. So does Lady Gaga. So those guys are out. We think it's Leonardo da Vinci. In which case, I'll say yes or no. That's how the gameplay works. In this example I gave, actually this was a pretty good example because all these clues were able to sort out. My problem with this game is because all of the clues like you are dealt out and you have to use the clues you're dealt out because they could, you know, you don't want to just pick out the best clues to make it super obvious. It's possible to get, like, let's say it, I had, it was this example with Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, and Lady Gaga. And I had Madonna. Using these clues to try to differentiate between those two people, I, I have no idea how to do that. And maybe you do, but you're so confined to what clues you're dealt out. When I played it, I would go through and kind of like pick out which clues I wanted. I don't think that's how you're supposed to play it. Um, in fact, I know it's not how you're supposed to play it. But I would kind of go through and say like this one, because I had games where I had like six neutral clues. And I'm like, that doesn't help anybody. So I would, I would you know, swap some of those out with better clues. And, and maybe it's a game that you need to make fit your group. If you have one that's really hard, maybe you get a few more clues. Maybe you play that you get to swap out three clues per game or every person gets three clues or, you know, two swap outs per round. I, however you want to play it. I think overall it's a fun game. Most of these games where you're trying to give clues to guess something else and all of the clues and all of the things you're given are given to you. So you're not that the creativity is not there. It's just in the matching aren't as great for me. I really want a game where I'm able to be creative. I'm either evil, like maybe I get all these clues and I think of somebody that I can describe using this board. That would probably be good. Or I get to insert some of my own clues. Either way, I think it would be better. But 
I did have a fun time in this game because once once I made those alterations. So if this does sound like a game that your group or your family wants to pick up, I'll have a purchase link in the description box down below where you can get yourself a copy. Either way, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll never be bored.